Okay, welcome back to Motor Radix. We've got a great track battle for you today. As you can see behind us, to my right is a Tommy Mac. To my left is a Stuart. Stuart. Behind that oh. is a Metro. We've got to get this right. Six, Six R4, R4 R. 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 So I mean in replica. Yeah. Let's get that straight. So it's um, rear wheel drive versus all wheel drive. Right. Both rally cars in their own rights. In their own rights, yep. And it's a bit of a weight advantage on this side. Yep. More so with us. Yep. I'm on the heavier side. We're going to be using Race Logic's Performance Box Touch and the Sport. So basically, what's going to happen is when they go out for their practices, they will go out with this and they can, they've got total visibility. And then when we send them out for the timed runs, they will not know what times they're doing. So Exciting. that's how we're going to get the result. Yes. So it should be really good fun. So let's talk to the drivers and find out how they're feeling. Okay. Okay, Mike. Well, thanks first of all for coming up on a lovely summer's day. It's not summer's day at all, is it? It's freezing and you're manning it in just a shirt. Yeah, why not? I'm cold looking at you. I'm going to put it that way. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> so you brought up your Tommy Mac. Yep. Tell us a little bit about it. How long you had it? So I've owned it since 2014. Okay. So yeah, a little while now. Good, good while now. Um, and then what have you done to the car in that ownership? So it was originally bought as a, as a bare shell. So pretty much everything. So okay. it's, uh, it's got a, a forged two litre long rod in it with a, a stock frame uprated turbo and a nice big set of Alcons on it. I did spot them, yeah. yeah so I'm not yeah. the most technical, but I, I, I could see the good brakes. Yeah. Um, drives well, but look, I was behind you on the way up, so yeah, it looks like you were driving goes, well. It goes, it goes well, it goes well. What sort of performance are we running? Uh, it runs around about 500. About 500 horsepower, so a bit more than standard. What were they, 280-ish standard, weren't they? 280, that was a gentleman's agreement? 280-ish, ish, ish. more like ish. 300. Okay, so. cool, all right, nice. And then, obviously, I can see it's case stuff like that. Have you used it for track before? Yeah, it's done a fair few track days. Yeah. Not so much in the last year or so, but before it's done, I've done uh, Nürburgring, Spa. Oh, wow, okay. Sessions of brands, so, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's been about a little bit. And how do you feel about track today? Do you think you'll be all right out there? It dries up a bit, I will be. If it dries up a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Well, you've got all-wheel drive. What are you talking know, about? You I should know, be fine. I know. I know. You'll be the most um, most sturdy car out there, I'm most sure. Prepared. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So let's go talk to what Stu's got on his side. Well, guess who we've got back? We've got Ian back with his 6R4R. Obviously, we've done the video before. If you've not seen it, I'll put a link somewhere for you to go and watch that one. Um, it actually done quite well. Everyone liked it. They did. It seemed to be uh, quite popular. Yeah. 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 And what, what, what else? What have you done to it differently this time? It's got uh, twin fuel pumps on now, uh, but that won't make any difference here. That's more for the yeah. future, for going for even more horsepower, but just for this, it doesn't matter. OK, and uh, basically, the people that haven't seen this before, what is it actually running? Because it's not a 6R4, it's a 6R4R, which is a replica. But what is it actually running in the back of it? In the, in the rear, there is a Duratec V6 uh, with a, uh, a GTX 3076 on it. Um, low boost about 430, fulls around 600, something like that. What are you going to be using? I'll probably go for the middle boost, <laughs> if I can get the grip, because the, the surface isn't ideal for triple eights. And you're up against 500 or anyway. And four-wheel drive. Yeah. So he's cheating, that's what I'd like to get that in now. It's not cheating. <laughs> the, re the reason why this was interesting to us is because, in a way, it's a, they're both rally icons. Yeah, yeah. But, OK, we do understand it's a bit rear-wheel drive issue here, a bit of grip issue, but I think... If it dries up, we'll be fine. We'll yeah, I, re I reckon we'll be all right. But yeah. other than that, I think we'll get, uh, we'll get them out for a bit of a practice and see what they think of it. back again for another battles well he he shot off like an absolute rocket so yeah that was like oh yeah warm up yeah just go and warm up to be fair um i've known mike for a little bit and he he's he's in it to win it <laughs> it's better that way so yeah, yeah but you know what ian is such a calm and composed man nothing ever gets him jolted does it no he's just, he's just like he's what he is isn't it yeah he's he's brilliant but they've got one lap 
so they, yeah 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 because then they're not running um slicks <laughs> yeah so as soon as he gets through here it's on like donkey Kong. i spoke to him earlier and i said are you worried about it being with he goes oh well it's what it is isn't it i was like oh okay <laughs> <laughs> so uh i guess it doesn't really care <laughs> see what happens yeah yeah you don't give a a flying sounds that good dumbbell, though that dumbbell does sound great, good isn't it? Now see the difference. Um, <laughs> well, as it will get faster and faster, but he's starting to get confident. confident. I've seen him all day, yeah. and he's starting to get more and more confident, which is always good. It looks good. It does look good. It, it's yeah, good yeah. seeing one of them actually get used and abused. The way that they yeah, be. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's a race car, isn't it? So he's got some good mods oh, to it as well. He's on the brakes late, isn't he? Yeah. Obviously, I've just seen two two cars in the previous battle last time. Almost gave away what yeah, battle I was. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, uh, and the pace that they went at was phenomenal. And this yeah. four wheel drive, bear in mind, this is supposed to be a rally car. Well, exactly. It's not, I mean, its design wasn't to be on track. It was going to be on track. Ty sort of said that he'd done it to be a time attack type car. Sort of, yeah. from a distance he's very late braking and very late accelerating out yeah i suppose he's, he's a little see that flame then <laughs> did you see that <laughs> oh i love a good flame out of a car um he likes yeah he, i was he, a bit i was a bit you become slightly moist nicholas but especially that shape as well the tommy mac is timeless yeah. absolutely timeless <laughs> But he can tidy up. We there. give you, we give you one job. One job. One job. Well, he's. Uh, he's I think, seen I think it. You need he's it. I think you need to clock it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> let's see. Let's see. I'm excited. So, how do you think it went? It went alright. It went alright. Fucking went alright. Well, it didn't break and it seemed to perform well and. Running. What's your favourite corner of it? It's, it's interesting oh, to see. Probably the long sweep at the end. Yeah. Well, won't sweep it, you know what I mean? Up the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you you practice all day today, so do you think you did some good times out there? I think I could have done better, but you think you could have done better? I think yeah, somewhere there. there well, it looked good out there. You shot a couple of flames, I saw. Yeah. So it looked good for it. Got to have a bit of flame boost. Yeah, nice. Well, well done, Mike. Lovely. We'll let you know the times in a bit. Thanks, Mike. Cheers, buddy. 
Unfortunately, guys, we have some bad news regarding the Metro. The GoPros that were in-car overheated and froze up, meaning we sadly have no in-car footage. And due to the way we filmed these battles back to back, we were unable to send Ian back out to re-record his laps. Trust me, when I say this, we are more gutted about this than anyone. We were absolutely pumped to have the Metro back on the channel to share with you guys. However, thankfully the V-Box Sport worked faultlessly all day and recorded his lap times. So with that, let's catch up with both drivers and get the results from today's battle. Okay, okay. And we've got a live audience. audience. We've got a live audience as well, we've got a live audience, okay. Do you want me just to announce the time and then you do the next one? Yeah, all right, well, let me have a look. Okay, all right, all right. Sorry it's on a phone, but... Oh. Okay, okay. I may have to come and reference that again. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I just do it? Shall I just yeah, do it? You do yeah, it. yeah, you okay, do it. okay. So, you both brought in practice laps. You both thought they went quite well. So, oh, I okay, can. Hang, just beforehand, oh. what was your best time in your practice? One. 120, wasn't it? 18. Oh, 118, 120. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, 119. 119, oh, okay. So, there you go. So the difference was around three seconds. <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> so, in no particular order, in no particular order, the Evo, Tommy Mac, driven by you, sir. Yes. You did a 11397. Okay, round of applause oh, for that. Man. That's a quick Thank time. You. That's a quick time. I'll see you if you're up now. <laughs> and in the 6R4R, R. 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 one sixteen nine three. So yes, yeah, well, well done, well done, boys. It's a good battle. It's a good battle. I've got to say, from the practices, to jump up that far, and you also jumped up pretty. Yeah, far, yeah. You, you both. Difference. This is e easily your fastest times. And not yeah. only that, seeing them two cars. Uh, the icons. That track yeah. Were brilliant. So, so there you go. Mike in the Evo Tommy Mac smashed out a 113.97 and is now in fifth place on our leaderboard. And as for Ian's Metro 6R4R, he gets seventh place with an impressive time of 116.93, which completes our season one leaderboard. But trust me, season two is next level. We listened to your feedback and can now confirm we can have both cars on track in an epic cat and mouse style race. But for now, let's head back to the track and sum up the video with the guys. That was superb. So that concludes this track battle. There will be more because there's people here, isn't there? That we still will get through. <laughs> so if you enjoyed that, you can like and you can comment and you can subscribe and you can hit the bell. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. So <laughs> what was that? Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next track battle. Goodbye, Goodbye. folks. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. Well done, dude. Well done. Well done. Bagging and bagging and bag again. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Bagging and.